Today's forced labor compensation proposal aims to mend ties between Seoul and Tokyo, but is strongly decried by Korean victims as it means Japan isn't being held accountable. Our Choi Min Jung has more. All eyes are on whether South Korea's compensation plan for Korean victims of Japan's wartime forced labor will open up a new door to Seoul and Tokyo relations. I hope that the Japanese government will carry on the spirit of the Kim Dae-jung Obuchi joint declaration, which recognized deep remorse and gave a heartfelt apology for the entire colonial rule, including forced labor. The joint declaration was adopted in 1998 by then South Korean President Kim Dae-jung and Japanese Prime Minister Keizo Obuchi, when the Japanese leader expressed remorse for the damage and pain caused to the Korean people. Pundits say relations could once again be restored as President Yoon is widely expected to visit Japan to meet his counterpart in March. I think the deal is going to work as a catalyst, if you will, for two countries to patch things up and cooperate in more proactive manner on many issues, issues related to North Korea, protecting and strengthening rules-based international order. But that said, I'm, I'm afraid that the deal is going to create big stir in South Korea's domestic political arena. The victims of wartime forced labor and civic groups have been protesting against the government's plan, saying this issue cannot be resolved without sincere apologies and participation from the Japanese companies. I just don't understand. I'm 95 years old and I have never seen anything like this. We've been taking legal action for almost 30 years without any help from the Korean or Japanese governments. It's a shame that it had to end like this. There is also a clash in South Korea's political scene. The ruling People Power Party said the decision was a solution that was thought through for the victims and stressed the importance of a trilateral relationship between South Korea, Japan and the U.S. The main opposition Democratic Party described it as a disgrace and humiliation. Although the Korean government says it has left the door open for Japanese companies to contribute, the general sentiment is that Japanese firms will not make contributions to the foundation. Chemin Dong, Arirang News.